Is it the morning or or the afternoon sleep? Good morning. Good morning. good morning, people. Good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. So, so like this off, off season, you know, like I'm trying to widen my game out a little, a little bit. So I'm trying to run routes more, just learn more of the route, 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 the route tree to try to be more, more, uh, more a complete back for the team. So connected there, obviously. Yeah, it worked out. You feel me? <laughs> How you feel like camp's going so far for you guys overall? Uh, like it's going good, you know. Uh, you know, like there's things that I have to work on. You know, there's things, you know, you know, there's things I'm learning. There's things that I've done very, very well. So you know, you know, like um, I just got to keep stack stacking these days and just keep getting better. What are some of those things you feel like you need to work on the most? The things I need to work on is just learning how to go on to the next, the you know, like going on to the next play. You know, not worrying about what I did last play, and you know. Just, just trying, just trying to find, find, find ways to be better for the team, and just like trying to stay, stay healthy for the most, most part, you know. So just things like that. Is moving on to the next play hard when you got so much depth in the, in the room? Like thinking about nah, nah. To be honest, it's not even that. It's just, um, like, it's just for me. I'm my hardest critic. So you know, like, I want myself to be great, and I, I and like, you know, like, I want to be great on like all my plays but you know like some you know, you know like you mess up so like you know i just gotta learn how to take take that and learn from it and just go on to the next play and try to do better how much have you leaned on this uh, alvin and, and mark so those yeah those my ogs man you know um you know those guys set set the standard high you know like i'm just trying trying to follow in their foot, footsteps and try to do what they do or do better you never know are they more like Leaders by example, or they they're they're like both really like Mark. You know, Mark's more vocal. You know, Alvin's more lead by example type guy. But I mean, I mean, I mean, they both do a good job at it, so it's good. Pass protection's always gotten a bit of an emphasis for running backs here. How do you feel a guy like? Mark Ingram, who's been really good in that department throughout his career, how has he helped you developing in that department? Mark, Mark, Mark tries to like you know like you know like clear it up better. You know how like everybody tries to make make it so hard and so tech technical, but like you know Mark tries to say it's just a fight, and you know like who I mean like who can strike their hands first, and like and you know like who can win the battle, and you know it's just how how long you can fight. I mean I mean most time fights last two two seconds. He's got to win them two seconds. That's all it is. That's you all it is. Like winning those fights right now? Trying to, man. I'm trying to, man. It's tough, but yeah, I'm trying to. It's like something new gets introduced every day into practice today. A little bit of rain. Yeah. How important is it to get some reps in the rain? Because at some point, it feels like you're playing rain. Those, those reps are important, you know, because, I mean, because, like, you know, like, you know, uh, like the game could be sunny, and then, like, next thing you know, it's storming, and, like, you know, the game must go on. You know, like we gotta run the ball, we gotta throw the ball. So, like, I mean, those practices are good, like that. You know, just to help us out. Hey, Tony, I don't know if we asked you this when we got hired. But you got any good Brian Kelly stories? Good Brian Kelly stories? Ah, uh, let me think some. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I ain't got nothing crazy. I mean, but just coach, coach I mean, Coach Kelly, a good dude, man. Uh, uh, like my my first visit there, I was going to commit to him, but uh, but you know, like I wanted to wait till I got home, and so and so like I told him that I didn't want to cook, you know, like do it yet. Then like my mom told him that I wanted to co to like commit to him, and then my mom told him that, and he got mad at me, and so yeah, so that's how it started, and then I committed. What a way to get it like kicked Yeah, off. yeah, man, yeah, man. Start start off with yeah. a lot, but it was all right. <laughs> it was all right from there. I'm so cool. to see you last year, coming back from an injury. I uh, thought you were there and then just couldn't, couldn't do a follow-up without. Uh, you know, uh, like, you know, man, just coming back from injury is more like mental, you know. So, like, so like for me, it was just trying to get my steps back right trying like trying to not worry about it and you know uh, like going like going into like the last two or three weeks i um i uh, started to get my step back and i started getting my mental right so you know like you know i just got to build from that and keep going has uh matt Rea, the addition of, of matt Rea, had a big impact on your recovery thus far for sure 
Oh yeah. For sure, he's tough, man. Matt, Matt, Matt's that guy. Matt, <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, both, both of them, nice. So I mean, uh, so I came back like two, two weeks before camp, just, just to train with him. You know, uh, you know, you know, you know, just trying to get my legs stronger, just trying, trying to get my turn, turn, my turnover speed right, just stuff like that. And Matt and them are really good at it. And they know what they're doing. Is there something unique or, or specific? I know. Um, Troutman mentioned like bilateral work and things like that. Is there anything unique or specific that he's brought to the table? Science. Maybe new? Science? I didn't know none of this stuff about my body, but he done came, came here and then made me find out a whole bunch of things about my body. And like, I love it. So yeah, so he's it's just the science. Your life even outside yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's science behind it, man. It's crazy. And Tony, when you look at all the competition, how important it is that you string together like back to back to back practice? You had two good days in a row and obviously the competition, Preseason game going against the Texas. How how important it is for you to string those really good practices together? Those those days are just good because you know because coach wants to see your like consistency and like with me like um like you know me I got to show that like I can stack my days and, and keep and, you know like keep my head down and work. So those those days are very important and I and, and I and I just got to keep going on to the next and keep stacking them. How do you feel as a receiver out of the backfield when he had that nice wheel route today? You know, how do you have you kind of been working on that stuff? I mean, I've always been a receiver out the back backfield, but nobody just you know, never thought to ask me could I do it. So, uh, so yeah. So now, I mean, like now, Coach C sees it. So now I get to show what I can do, and like you know, like you know, I just got to keep taking stuff from Mike T's game, from Jarvis' game, all of them, and just try to try to put it in my toolbox. How does that process work? Like, do you see something, kind of say, I want to do that, or I can do that, and then do you present that to the coaching staff to say, hey, can I get an opportunity here? So, so like, so, I mean, so with that, I try to do it after practice when no one's looking this, you know, you know, like, you never, never you know, you never know, you might mess up. Right. So I always try it, you know, and then, like, in one-on-ones, I'll do it in front of coach, and then, I mean, then if you like it, then all right, cool, bang, cool, bang, then, like, we rocking with it. But if not, then okay, then then, then I'll wipe it out. So, yeah. Tony, your thoughts, Brian Kelly going to LSU? And, and Coach, Coach Kelly's a great coach, man. Yeah. Coach, Coach Kelly's going to bring some great stuff there, man. Uh, he, uh, like, he's a great coach. You know, he, he's going to bring the great guys in there. And, like, all of them kids are going to get, like, some great co culture and some great coaching. So, they, I mean, hey, the boys better, hey, the boys better be ready. I mean, I wish you'd have stayed, but you know, that's <laughs> <laughs> whatever. We good? Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day.